night, Monday, my beautiful people. I'm so terrified. I'm going to try and friggin upload this footage to my computer so that I shit itself again because if you're wondering why I haven't put up a lot of vlogs lately, it's because my computer just keeps crap in its pants. Anyways, um, I just got back from the gym, had a shower and everything. I'm just about to make a coffee, so let's do that right now. It's freaking December, guys. What the heck? I've been opening up my advent calendars, by the way, on my Instagram stories. I just decided to do it that way because I don't vlog every single day and I just don't want to miss any in the vlogs, so you can check that out on my Instagram. So tasty. So the plan for today is boring. It's an editing day. I'm gonna put up my video, which is the look I did with the Tati palette, so full face first impression. Oh, there's a jumping spider on the wall. And I've got some other videos to edit. I want to try and get my videos for this week done so that I can spend the rest of the week doing some filming. I want to do some more like declutters and stuff. So yeah, today's just an admin day, emails, all that kind of stuff, all the boring stuff. Just chill AF. Got the lights on right now because it is so dark. It's been beautiful weather like the whole weekend last week, like so nice. We had day drinks on Saturday and it was supposed to be like raining and stuff and it was like full on sunny, like so hot. By the way, also Louis had a seizure on Saturday and I think... I know what sets him off. I think it's when he sits in the sun for too long and gets himself way too hot. Like, I reckon it sets something off. Like, do you guys know if that's a thing? Because I think with, like, humans it can be a thing, like, overheating and stuff. He just doesn't know when he's too hot, so we've made a rule now where if he's going to be hanging out outside with us in the sun, like, he's going to be, like, wet. We're going to, like, have, <laughs> like, ice flannels and stuff. Um, and just like make sure that he's nice and cool and he's always got access to water and shade and stuff He's just an idiot and he likes to sit in the Sun and we like constantly will move him But he just won't listen, but it's only usually if we are outside as well And I think back to I think it was Easter weekend when he had a seizure um, I'm pretty sure he was hanging out in the Sun that day as well at the beach house in the middle floor um so yeah, I'm gonna have to take note of that. I don't know if that's actually what it is. But anyway, so we had a seizure. We had that emergency medication. So we gave him the emergency medication. Well, Hamish did. I just held him. It's like the syringe up the butt. He's absolutely fine. And he didn't actually spew this time, which is good. Because pretty much I think like almost every other seizure he spewed afterwards. Um, but yeah, he was happy as afterwards. Like, you know, after he'd like rested. Because he was very tired straight away. He just kind of like sat there. And we just gave him pets and love. Um, yeah, that night he was just the same old goofy Louis, so he's okay, but I do wonder if that's what it has been, like, I reckon it might be when he's just stupid AF and just sits in the sun for too long. I think, like, you know, what's that this year, maybe three seizures all year? Um, I don't think it's major enough to actually put him on, like, daily medication and stuff like that, I don't know. Let me know if you guys have had any similar experiences with your pets, like, with seizures and stuff, and we're just gonna get some more of that emergency medication, um, just to have as well because I think it's close to expiring and we're gonna take it to our beach house like leave some there leave some at this house so that over summer you know if he has one we can just like give him that um, and yeah just in case just to be safe but yeah he was totally okay I could tell he was about to have one because he gets all funny and um, he was sitting on me I was a lot more calm this time I guess because I knew what to expect um, you know, like other times I was like a mess and like crying and freaking out. But that time I was just like, it's okay, just be here for him. Hold him so he doesn't hurt himself. I don't have to like hold him tight. Like he just kind of wants to be nice, close to me, sorry. Um, so I just like held him close and just gave him pets and kisses and I love you as well. He was feeling scared. So yeah. Anyway, it was beautiful weather. <laughs> it was really nice yesterday. I think last night I started getting shit, but today it's so cloudy and average. <sighs> So, anyways, here's the silly boy. Lubu, what have you got over there? See a toy? It's got some blanket, yeah? See a toy? Can I have it? He's like, nut. Nah. Look at his little tail. Can I have it? <laughs> you still love your toys you got, don't you? You spoiled boy. Is it octopus over there? Is it? Is it? <gasps> Is that the universal like playing with your dog sound? 
<laughs> he just loves playing tug of war. Yeah. Ready? He just loves it. Look, he's like, that's enough. Time to sleep with it. <laughs> You're a good boy. Oh, good morning. It's now Tuesday. I stopped vlogging yesterday because it was so boring, honestly. I was just like, no one wants to see this life. So, we're starting fresh today. I have on the Ola Henriksen uh, Fat Facial. Currently, I've had it on for about five minutes, so I've got about five to ten minutes to go. I'm gonna make a decaf coffee because last night I could not sleep. Ugh, it was the worst, literally. Like, I was so restless. Like, I've still been having nightmares every single night. And if it's not a nightmare, it's one of those stupid, vivid dreams that just keeps waking me up throughout the night, so it's like just as bad. Last night, I had a dream that Louis got friggin' attacked. I actually remember this dream for once because I barely ever remember my dreams, but it was like a about nine foot long, what would you call it? It looked like um, a snake with legs, like a gecko, like a really oversized gecko or something. But anyway, it was like trotting along and I was like, no one's gonna believe this. So I yelled at all my friends. I'm like, guys, come have a look at what's in the lawn. Like, and it kept slithering away because it was real fast. Um, this is right after as well because I always have nightmares like this for some reason. I either have nightmares I'm late for school and I can't find my homework or I have nightmares that I'm late for work and I can't find my work uniform. Like my countdown work uniform that I have not worked at countdown for like friggin' 10 years or some shit or like maybe like 8 years. Like excuse me. Anyways, so I couldn't find my work uniform so I was late for work and I was scared I was gonna get fired but anyway then this friggin thing just trotted around the lawn and my friends were like oh yeah that's a blah 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 and they had this name for it. i can't remember that detail anyway and then louis like sprints over and it just like rolls up like a snake and like traps louis and i woke up freaking out and also my whole sleep zeus was waking me up louis was waking me up they were like crying and stuff not like bad crying just like when zeus wanted to get up on the bed and my legs were like blocking the little staircase for him to like hop up on the bed so he'd like be like Arr. and then louis was crying because he couldn't get under the blanket and just dumb shit and hamish kept waking me up like one time he smacked me in the stomach while he was asleep another time he like rolled over and started like sleep talking and asking me questions and i was just like shut up i'm just trying to sleep like i cannot sleep so yeah I've had pre-workout this morning, um, so I definitely don't want to like overload on caffeine today because I really just want to have a good sleep tonight. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I just haven't had a good sleep and I can't even remember how long. Like even when I get drunk, I can't even sleep well. And usually when I drink <laughs> and sleep, like, you know, if I've been hanging out with my friends drinking, like, usually I'm like out to it, but I can't even sleep well in that circumstance. It's nothing, nothing works. So if you have any tips, keep them coming. I mean, I've tried a lot of your tips, but if you've got some more tips, maybe I haven't tried it. Cause ugh, I'm over it. I'm delirious, overtired. I just have a shit to do, you know? Pretty sure this is gonna be too strong so I accidentally put on heaps of the coffee and I swear decaf coffee is way stronger than normal coffee. Oh, yeah that's strong. I'm gonna have to do extra cream. Ooh. That's better. Also I'm just gonna check my blood sugars quickly. I checked them because like, you know I've been getting back into ketosis and everything. Um I checked my blood sugars on like Friday because I just wanted to see if I was in ketosis yet because I felt really like gross you know like when you get like a bit of the keto flu I definitely don't get it as bad as I guess I did the first time I ever started keto but it's probably because I knew what to expect you know but yeah so I took one just to see and I was in ketosis I wasn't in like deep ketosis I think I was like 0.7 mmol which is like just over I think like you need to be at 0.5 or more and then for nutritional ketosis I think it's like 1 or more or 1.5 I can't remember anyways I was 0 0.7 so I was in ketosis like just a light ketosis which is good but then I got like real drunk on Saturday night because we were trying out the wines that I think we're going to be serving at our wedding and so I had all my friends over and we had like a few bottles like we had like Pinot Gris we had Sav, Rosé, Prosecco um, so yeah, and honestly, I'm not even a huge white 
wine fan and they were freaking good like i'll show you guys close to the time the brand that we're going to go with um in case you're curious and the bottle was really cute which is kind of like one of the reasons why i was drawn to it i'm rambling so much today please bear with me anyway we got pretty drunk i ended up eating some <laughs> wicked wings from kfc i was like yes kfc and the next morning i was like god damn it but um i checked it again and i was at zero point what was it 0 0.8 or 0 0.7 so I was pretty stoked so I just want to check myself today and just see where I'm at today because I haven't had anything that I shouldn't have so theoretically I should still be in I don't always check my ketones in my blood it's just kind of like when I'm getting back into it or if I've had like some questionable food I'm like curious because it doesn't really matter like what are you going to do about it and for me I don't mind if I balance between like low carb and keto eating like I'm not really like focused on massive weight loss like i wouldn't mind losing more weight but at the same time like, i just don't care the main reason i like to eat low carb and or keto is just because it makes me feel so much more like energized less bloated less sluggish once i've gotten past like carb withdrawals anyway um like when i eat carbs 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 i feel like trash and that's kind of like what i was doing while i was traveling like new york and LA and where else did i go all of these places thailand japan like i was eating low carb at home or keto at home and then when I traveled I was just eating whatever I needed to at the time so yeah I've just been obviously at home now so taking it a lot more seriously I'm definitely the kind of person that you know my body just doesn't love bread and pasta and things but I still have like the odd carby veg well not super carby like my favorite is pumpkin if I'm going to do something carby um so I'll just have a little bit of pumpkin like you saw in my meal prep video the other, the other day honestly a pro at this now sometimes it still hurts but not too bad there you go 1.1 which is good that means i'm in a decent level of ketosis even after accidentally eating my kfc wet wings a couple of days ago eat that i feel like i've tricked the system obviously they're still not good for me but you know what there is my skin straight after the mask so glory. I haven't even moisturized yet because I'm about to film a very exciting announcement and I want to do all of my stuff on camera. My skin looks a little bit funny because I've got like a bit of fake tan on but yeah look at these two giant pimples that popped up overnight by the way. Hamish says I was tuning into a devil he's like your horns are coming out. So I filmed and I've just taken off my makeup as well with my face halo to a little bit of skincare. I also filmed it just so I can put it on my like Instagram stories or something like that. Anyway, my footage is currently uploading properly. Woo! I've been having issues with my movie. If you've been watching the vlogs, you know. Anyway, it's currently importing. It seems to be doing its thing just fine, but I am going to let it do it while I just prep some dinner. Um, so that it's done for later. It's only like three or half past two right now. So I'm going to do some editing after I do this. But I just thought I would, you know, prep it, like I said. And I think I might just have some toast quickly for lunch as well. I've got keto toast. I showed it to you in a different vlog. It is the stuff right here. It's very expensive. I think it's about $12. But um, one loaf lasts me and Hamish like two weeks or so. So I'm just going to have a couple pieces. So good. For 
dinner I'm making pork belly and stir fried veg. So that's what all that was. I've got a little bit of carrot, some cabbage and some broccoli because we have heaps of veggies I just need to like finish you know. It says there's only 12 minutes to go. Awesome. I was craving hot sauce. <laughs> Look how offended he is. He's like bitch where's mine? So this is the pork belly. It's gonna be a bit too much so I'll probably put some aside for Hamish and I for lunch as well. Don't worry, it's actually fine. I just defrosted it. So all I do is pop it in the air fryer, put a little bit of spray oil and salt just on the top to crisp in the skin part. Um, and then I don't turn it. Because if you put the skin like face down, it just makes it go, oh, I need to give this a scrub. It just makes it um, soggy and chewy, which is gross. And it varies like time wise. But we usually start it on like 20 minutes or so, check it. Um, depending how thick it is, sometimes it takes like half an hour or longer. This is like the way I like to cook it because I'm lazy, I can't be bothered cooking in the oven for ages. Here's dinner, I put aioli and mustard on my veg, it's so tasty. And that is cooked, I don't know why the lighting looks weird, it makes it look pink. Where is that so close to our house, are we? Yeah, it's like, two, it's a couple of houses over. Dickheads. It's alright, come here. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. They ruin fireworks for everyone else by letting them off how far after? It's alright, so it's okay. It's okay. I just didn't care. I went to go see him and he was asleep and he was like, what? Yeah, no, he worries about Louis though. What fireworks, eh, hey, mate? Louis just spent the last half hour hiding underneath Hamish's desk because someone down the road decided that on the 3rd of December they would start letting off fucking loud fireworks, so thanks guys. I don't give a shit about fireworks like in terms of like on Guy Fawkes, like having, you know, them out at a public place, do like an event and everything, but why do like people need massive fireworks like that at their house? Even if it was just limited to like small fireworks and like people like this do shit like this they should be fined. I don't know how that would work. I know it's like oh you're taking fun away from people because they can't do fireworks. It's like when you have like pets and stuff it is just a mere like they don't know what that noise is and they get so scared and it sucks. It's sad and it's just effing annoying as well listening to stuff that sounds like gunshots just like popping around. It's like come on people. If you're gonna buy fireworks at least be a normal human being and do it like on Guy Fawkes so like everyone knows to put their dogs inside and like keep them calm and swaddle them up and stuff. It just sucks. Anyway, it's 9.30, we've just played some video games. I've just been doing some editing. Editing a little um, like a lip swatch video. Oh, that's an ugly screenshot. So I'm just gonna finish that off and then head into bed. Mm. Look at this boy. Susie. Thanks for watching today's vlog. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. Does that remind you of that funnel thing where it's like, eh? I got holes. Is that what it was, hoes? Bye.